and we've been waking up with ants in our room as well. Uh, our neighbor, she ended up moving out, and the ants, we follow the intro from her room to our room, so that's another thing that we're dealing with. Another thing we're dealing with is the light is broken, the bed is broken. It's just a lot of things that's going on just in this living space. The people here are not pleasant people to be around. They're rude. They're, uh, they just, I don't know. They just are who they are, and I really can't say they just got like this because people don't just get like nothing. It's been like this. It's been like this. This Passport bro situation has really blown up in the last two years where a lot of black men were saying that they were done with the American woman, especially uh, uh, black men. Black men started to copy that fad, and they would go on social media and make all kinds of inflammatory videos about the modern black woman. And passport bros were going into different countries around the world and they were putting up videos and they were showing basically saying allegedly how submissive these women were as opposed to the black American woman and the American woman in general. They were saying they were saying that these women were more cultured. They were more all of these. But when you start seeing these passport bros uh, start making their um, videos and making money off of it and traveling. You start having women that started to emulate the same things that these passport bros was doing. And this one particular video now that we're going to uh, focus on is this passport stud. And she went over to Thailand with $500 in her pocket and saying that, you know, the sky is the limit. And she was making a series of videos about her experience in Thailand as a passport stud. Check this out. I survived in Thailand with only $7. After living in a small village for almost five months, not making any income, I was running out of money. I was down to my last $50. On January 22nd, I decided to take a risk spending my last $50 on a bus ticket from Chiang Mai to Bangkok, then from Bangkok to Pattaya. That left me with only $7 to my name. I didn't know what to do. I was worried, but I kept my faith and trusted that God would make a way. After making it to Pattaya, I met with a local expat. I told him I store and he decided to book me a hotel and things started to get better at this point so she went she goes over there experiencing kia and, and ends up becoming homeless and she was making her videos you know with the sentimental music and she was putting it all over tiktok and all over the social media stuff and she ran into an, an expat and she started to get help from this uh this man and and, and i guess his wife uh people started sending her gifts they gave her somewhere to live. There was, um, you know, she started getting food because she was over there trapped. She was stuck. She had nowhere to go. And, you know, when people, people started to really feel sorry for her. And she, you know, she was doing the videos and she's just showing um, uh, the country, th Thailand and all this splendor. She was just talking about, you know, the different things. But um, it gets crazy. But she ended up bringing her girlfriend over. Uh, and they started to make more videos. Let's check this out. What's good, good family? Um, so today was the day that I needed to get my visa extended. So come with me while I get a simple visa extension. Yeah. So we had to wake up extremely early. The immigration office is always extremely busy. So it's like you want to get there really early so you can get in line. And you don't have to be there all day. Another thing, I don't think I ever told y'all that my fiance finally made it from America to Thailand. So when I say we, I mean me and her, her and I. So she ended up staying um, on the third floor of a business on top of a nail salon. Because like I said, people was giving her some place to live. They gave her food. She started getting gifts from people all over the world. There was all, you know, there was all kinds of things going on. But the owner of the building, uh, um, sister and her boyfriend didn't like her. For whatever reason it was, they didn't like her. And it got real crazy. Like, like it got real turned up. Now, mind you, she brought her girlfriend over from the States to come stay with her. And now a video is circling, circling now all over TikTok and social media yesterday when some stuff hit the fan and all hell broke loose. Check this out. What's good, family? So we just now coming back from doing a long day of work. I'm proud of my fiance. She finally got business up and running. So it's a celebration. Um, but yeah, 
finished doing today's work, today's task. This is one of my favorite ladies, y'all. Hello. <laughs> that lady is so sweet, she's so nice. I always go eat noodles there, but um, we are headed back to the crib. I gotta do some things on the phone. I gotta call some people, take care of some business. Uh, but today, today was a, actually a, a good day. It was actually a good day. Nothing happened. It was smooth sailing. Now I'm back at the shop. Wow. So this is what we come back to today. This is what we come back to today. Huh? Oh, it's okay. All right, yeah. You got the key, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. It's locked. It's not locked. Okay, we just want, we just trying to make sure all of our things out of the room. Yeah, it's been a lot going on here, so. So right now we're just going upstairs to make sure all of our things are out of the room. So we just making sure we got all of our things out the room, y'all. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Let's make sure everything is out. Y'all, so this is what's going on. Make sure everything is out. All right. Everything is going. Come on, this is me. Wow. Huh? Use it. You stop? No. CC, just give me my phone, please. Who will take your phone? No, she got it. He got my girl phone. I see him put it in his pocket. What the fuck? We had money in our purses. Did it I need my phone. I need my phone. I need my phone. I This is the message I sent her the day before the attack. This, this is insane. This is where we're standing, y'all. This is where we're standing. And they decided to put the lock on the door. And when I tell y'all, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was by the grace of God for us to be home. You know why? Because if we wasn't, we was going to be locked out. We was gonna be locked out, even though I'm paying rent at this place. And these people are not Thai. The owner, she's Thai, but her husband, her boyfriend, who's causing all these problems, he is not Thai. He is somebody that wants to be in control of me and of my girl. He doing anything and everything in his power to try to bring us down. But we're just gonna keep on praying and keep on using the word of God against him and just keep on letting God fight our battles. But I, I really don't know, y'all. Once we returned downstairs, after checking to make sure we had all of our things, the owner boyfriend approached me with the intention to break my camera.
This is another conversation I had with the owner trying to understand what I did to make him so mad. This was her response. We decided to go to the police and make a report of the assault. Things and like an on her. her. Honest to God, if you lived in like, it's really hard to explain. It's the loudest person who wins. The, the loudest person who wins. The, the, the guy who punches. And it's strong, but it's not. It's not actually strong. I would, I would say it's more like a self-defense kind of mechanism. Strong shit. Yeah. But you. But just because of the truth. We were assaulted by six individuals. I was kicked in my head multiple times and my fiance was hit with a chair and we ending up with a fine of 120,000 for damage to property. Because he'll, he'll be waiting for you at one. He's probably going to call you if you don't come by one. So it's kind of like an official time, okay? So try to get it all set up before one o'clock. Now, as you can see, um, she was locked out of the building. Um, they was like for, they was forcefully getting rid of her. There was like I said, there 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 was um, some alleged altercation where she was saying that she was kicked in the head. Her girlfriend's phone was stolen. I mean, it was just a whole bunch of stuff. But remember, I told y'all they were saying that they didn't um, that the people didn't like her. The owner gave her a place to live because he felt sorry for her, but she wasn't liked very much. Then she brought a girlfriend. Now I know that she's um, LGBT, and I don't we don't I don't know what the public sentiment is over there about. Um, that type of lifestyle, um, so I don't want to speak to that, but we know that she was put out. Now, we see at the end of the video, um, we see that the security was saying that she was charged all of this money, and it was equivalent to like $3,000 in American dollars because of, for damages, right? But in the video, you don't see, you don't really see none of that that took place, but because she didn't show it on Experience in uh, Kia, but on Facebook, uh, check this out. We saw this. Yeah, so that's that's experiencing Kia, all right. So she took and destroyed a whole bunch of property over there in this foreign country. Ain't no telling what those people could have did to her. Um, I'm I'm really looking at. I'm seeing mental health issues as well. Uh, but I'll speak to that. I'll speak to that in a minute. But there was a um, a black American girl that's married to a German man. And she took the social media, uh, Joe Kelly. And she went on to say, look, people, look, people, don't come to Thailand with all that BS. These Thai people gave her a place to live and a job because she was homeless in Thailand. But because she refused to pay rent for the room. So they asked her to leave and put her stuff outside. But she came back and starts tearing up the place. This disrespectful behavior I don't condone in any country, especially here. I'm disgusted and embarrassed. So this was a woman married to a German, and she's over there, um, I guess, doing her thing, right? But she's speaking out against these other black people that's coming there, and they're carrying on like this. But I'm going to say this, right? There has to be some form of mental health, mental health issues. This woman left America. Uh, copying what she saw with the passport bros was doing and she became Pat the passport woman and she went to a foreign land with $500 in her pocket and ended up being becoming um, homeless no protection nothing you are a woman in a foreign country uh, with no money uh, uh, at, 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 it's, it's just insane it's just insane and some people call me a chauvinist but I believe that women should be in position of being protected because you got a lot of viciousness going on out here anybody could have did anything to this woman anything to this woman so I'm seeing something that's not really clicking up top here. And then when she has some type of conflict, the way she dealt with the conflict. So now she fled the country. So I'm guessing that she's wanted in Thailand now. You know what I mean? You know, for property damage. Over uh, $3,000 worth of, in America now is worth of property damage. So it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, to say the least. But this is experiencing uh, Kia. And like I said, she had the people, um, people all over the world felt bad for her, man. And these people gave her a home. Now, I don't know the particulars of what happened that um, wh wh where, where it got physical, but the lady is saying that she didn't want to pay rent. I don't know why she didn't want to pay rent, but for whatever reason, she didn't want to pay rent. 
But I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, passport sisters, don't start copying what you see men do. Please don't. Don't go into these foreign countries alone with no protection, direction, no correction, no nothing. Because you put yourself, she she got out easy because she could have been killed over there. But I'm going to cut this video short here, man. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, man. Hit that like button. It, it don't cost you nothing. Hit that like button. Everybody that watched this video, please make sure you hit that like button. If you, if you respect my content, you like my content, allow me to really get out there to the algorithm so we can reach a bigger audience. So when you watch this video, do not forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Remember, I love you all. To the next time. Peace.